the new Jaguar E-Pace. The compact SUV reimagined by Jaguar. Unmistakably Jaguar. The sports car inspired design of the new E-Pace is taut, assertive and dynamic. Signature J-Blade LED headlights frame a bold honeycomb mesh grille. The distinctive profile feels coupe-like, with a sculpted bonnet and dynamic roof lines sweeping down to the spoiler, which rests above a steeply raked rear window and muscular haunches. Integrated twin exhaust finishers give a performance appearance to the rear, where the full LED rear tail lights give the E-Pace a truly distinctive look. The sporting feel continues inside the E-Pace with a driver-focused yet practical cabin. The sports car-inspired grab handle and sequential shift gear selector emphasize the vehicle's performance credentials. At the heart of the interior lies a high-definition 10-inch touchscreen providing an intuitive interface with Jaguar's Touch Pro infotainment system. The interior is meticulously designed with premium quality materials and finishes. Modern and progressive, yet family friendly. Premium leather seats with contrast stitching add to the sense of sporting luxury. While a large fixed panoramic sunroof creates a light and spacious environment. In the rear, there's ample room for passengers to relax and enjoy the luxurious environment. The generous proportions also extend to the flexible load space. The E-Pace's stowage options provide a place for everything including flexible deep storage in the center console with a phone holder, charging points and removable cup holders that extends the size of the storage even further. There's a place for everything in the E-Pace. Take to the road and you immediately realize Jaguar's performance technology permeates every part of the E-Pace driving experience. The power comes from Jaguar's range of lightweight Ingenium engines. Available in both petrol and diesel, these have been designed to provide excellent drivability, refinement and strong fuel economy. And for the more demanding driver, they include both the diesel and petrol high power engines which deliver outstanding performance. The fully independent suspension system features a sophisticated multi-link rear suspension so that you can take the road ahead with poise and confidence, whatever the conditions. Jaguar Drive Control puts you in charge with multiple driving modes to suit your driving style and mood. Choose dynamic mode for a more responsive, sportier drive. You can even customize the E-Pace's driving character to get the drive that's right for you. Jaguar's electronic power-assisted steering further enhances driver engagement whilst also improving fuel economy. Eco mode optimizes efficiency, modifying settings throughout the vehicle to reduce fuel consumption and encourages a more efficient driving style. 
Rain Ice Snow Mode is ideal for wet or icy conditions, enhancing the E-Pace's stability in low grip situations. In these conditions, Jaguar's intelligent all-wheel drive system continuously and automatically switches torque between front and rear axles, providing traction where it's needed, so the E-Pace always feels stable and sure-footed. Torque vectoring by braking also complements the driving experience. When cornering strongly, torque vectoring by braking applies the brakes to the inside wheels to provide greater driver confidence. Low traction launch helps you to pull away, while all surface progress control maintains consistent levels of progress across challenging terrain such as snow, mud and ice. These advanced engineering innovations help improve handling, stability and refinement, making every journey a pleasure in the new Jaguar E-Pace. The new E-Pace features the latest connected technology. E-Pace offers the perfect soundtrack to your journey with a choice of two state-of-the-art premium Meridian audio systems, including the top-of-the-range 825-watt Meridian surround system. The 10-inch touchscreen works together with Navigation Pro so you can view your route map and navigation information. And the head-up display uses TFT technology to clearly project key information onto the windscreen so you can keep your eyes on the road. The new Activity Key is an innovative wearable technology. Whilst your regular key fob is safely disabled inside your vehicle, the Activity Key allows you to lock or unlock your vehicle and engage in active pursuits unencumbered by keys. Gesture Control allows you to open the tailgate by simply raising your foot to sensors located either side of the rear bumper. Ideal for when your hands are full. The E-Pace is available with Jaguar's smartphone pack. With this pack, you can connect your phone to a USB port and control your favorite apps directly from the E-Pace's touchscreen. The new E-Pace features state-of-the-art connected technology. Inbuilt Wi-Fi hotspot connectivity keeps you seamlessly connected at all times. You can also access your music streaming service and stream movies using the inbuilt 4G connectivity. Adaptive cruise control can be activated to monitor the traffic ahead, adjusting speed automatically to maintain a set distance, resuming a preset speed once the road is clear. Q Assist keeps a suitable distance when queuing in traffic, bringing the vehicle to a halt when necessary. Emergency braking can detect a potential collision ahead, alerting the driver and applying the brakes if required. Blind Spot Assist applies steering torque to help prevent collisions when changing lanes. Driver Condition Monitor detects when the driver shows signs of drowsiness, giving an early warning when you need to take a break. Lane Keep Assist can detect when the vehicle starts to drift and helps to gently steer it back into its lane. The surround camera system provides a 360 degree exterior view via the touchscreen, giving you greater confidence when maneuvering your vehicle in confined situations. With Park Assist, you control the speed whilst the vehicle steers itself through parallel and perpendicular parking maneuvers. It can also guide you out of the space. Rear traffic monitor warns you of vehicles, pedestrians or other hazards approaching from either side of your car. 
the new Jaguar E-Pace. The compact SUV reimagined by Jaguar. When we're developing the E-Pace, what we want to do was create something that clearly was a Jaguar. That's first and foremost anything we do. But most of all, I wanted a car with real character to it, a bit of attitude. We wanted something sporty in character with the rest of the brand. So rather than do something that was very much in keeping with perhaps other SUVs and other cars, we went right to the other end and we emulated our F-Type sports car. And as soon as you get into it, you suddenly feel you're not in just another practical SUV. You're in something very special, very drivable, but above all, something that's exciting. When we're designing our cars, we always want to put a lot of fun into them. For instance, why we like younger animals, especially wild cats like a Jaguar, is they have big eyes and they have big paws. And we sort of adore them for that reason because they're disproportionate. In this case, we thought about the name we'd given to the car internally. We call it our cub. It's the cub of the Jaguar family. And so we created this wonderful little graphic of the mother Jaguar and the cub that sits as a graphic on the windscreen. When you see it, it'll make you smile. The sporting design philosophy comes out of uh, the overall sense of proportion of the car. It has a lot of form in it, it has lines in it, which really make a lot of sense in terms of speed and movement. We wanted to give the driver an encapsulated feel like a sports car. So we've taken the graphics of the F-Type, including the grab handle and down the center console to give the driver that sense of cockpit feel like a real driver's car. And also on the, the detailing, we've clearly put a lot of the F-Type front end into the headlamp detail. We're always looking for analogies in our, in our cars to inspire us to do certain things. We use the word chicane line quite a lot because clearly it has motor racing connotations to it. And we've developed a few lines in the car which are inspired by chicanes. That lovely way a line sweeps around. And if you look at the top of the dashboard, you'll see such a line as it sweeps over the top and follows almost a pure chicane line. And the other one is on the tail lamp. So when you see the car running at daytime, you will see this very distinct line across the back of the car. The idea of using rotary dials and tactile switches are very important. And we've got these lovely rotary dials in the car that give you the temperature and other functions of the car itself. We're inspired by things like camera lenses. You know, that lovely detail, that, that haptic feel that you feel when you move it, and the detailing of the texture itself. And that's all designed into the actual rotary dials themselves. And we love the idea of textures and colors. And natural patterns are always worth emulating because by nature of themselves, they're usually beautiful things. What I like with any Jag is there's a sense of fun about it when we get inside it. Yes, it's a very serious product, but this car in particular, I wanted a sense of fun to exude from it without diminishing its value in any way. in an engineer's nature to always want to do better. So we always thought, how do we better the F-Pace loop, which was spectacular? The next natural evolution was, let's let the car leave the ground. Funnily enough, we haven't simulated many barrel rolls in our history. With our suspension design, getting a car to go into a barrel roll is near on impossible. So we had to understand, with analysis, how to get that right. Like any innovation or Voyager discovery, data is what you crave to understand what's going on, so that when we get into the real world, we're able to really predict what's going to happen. It's the very first few days of testing for the barrel roll jump. Over the next couple of days, a robot is going to be in place of me. This is very, very, very advanced technology.
The real technical and the difficult thing about this whole stunt is we want to absolutely nail it and really push the boundaries, show the rest of the world that we're not messing about. taking every single lap time, looking at the computer, understanding exactly what it says, and making really very, very fine, minute adjustments so that we can perfect this. I'm gonna be going out there at speed. I've got to hold my body for the initial kick of hitting the ramp. I don't just wanna do it and be a passenger. I wanna actually be able to control it. It may look spectacular, but honestly, it was totally fine. It has taken a good beating, but to be honest, structurally, the integrity of the car is exactly as it was. And the car's indestructible, it's brilliant. It's very frustrating some days. This is groundbreaking stuff. We want to get perfection, that's what we're aiming for. So now the excitement's building, we've arrived at XL, where we're actually going to attempt the Guinness World Record. We've moved everything from our testing location. We've had many, many hours and sleepless nights preparing for this stunt. I can't wait to see it work. It's crunch time. I'm going to get all my kit on, get my helmet on. I'm so excited. This, for me, is a dream come true. We've done many, many jumps to get to this point, and hand on heart, this is the sweetest jump we've ever done. It's an incredible launch repace. It shows the pioneering spirit in Jaguar, and it shows how robust that car is. The landing was awesome. Oh, I think we're all absolutely over the moon. The stunt was the furthest barrel roll in a production vehicle. In terms of uniqueness, absolutely first. You're all officially amazing, well done.